Hi everybody, uh, Ricky Cool here with a short video that I hope is going to help you understand a little bit about different positions that you can play in on a harmonica. Um, so I'm using a C harmonica here and when you start learning the harmonica you soon learn that if you blow into a C harmonica you're playing a C chord and if you play tunes in that sort of blowing position you're playing in the key of the harmonica and we call that first position. If you've got an interest in playing blues um, it doesn't take long before you learn that one of the best way to play blues is rather than blowing into the harmonica is to draw through the harmonica which gives you a different chord and on a C harmonica that gives you the chord of G and that is a much better position for blues playing. So I'm now playing in the key of G and we call that second position which I will explain in a second. Um, which I'll explain in a second. <laughs> didn't, bit of a play on words, didn't really mean that. Um, and then the other position that as a blues player you soon get to learn about is third position. I'm doing a 1-4 draw octave there. And um, again that is a good position for blues playing and we call that third position. So how do we work out all these positions? What on earth does it all mean? Because as you go on your harmonica journey, one of the things that you'll learn about is that some people play things in fourth position or fifth position or even twelfth position. And that can be a little bit puzzling. So to help with the explanation, I've put together this um, diagram, which is a cycle of fifths. I'm going to put the cycle of fifths on the uh, as, as the end screen on this video so that if you want to grab a screenshot of it um, you, you'll be more than wel welcome to do so and it'll be easy. But the cycle of fifths is um, something that um, is common terminology in, uh, in music, particularly for jazz players. So what does it mean? Well uh, below this cycle of fifths diagram I've got um, a keyboard layout showing the C major scale. Now a scale is just purely and simply um, an order of musical notes and the relationship between them and it just so happens that the, the major scale is kind of I guess the fundamental scale that we use in Western music. So the major scale starting from C is the note C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then you get back to C again. Now, if we go along that scale to the fifth note, C, D, E, F, G, counting C as number one, one, two, three, four, five, we see that G is the fifth note of the major scale starting from C. So that gets us on our journey round the cycle of fifths. If we then started a major scale from G rather than C, so G counts as number one, G, A, B, C, D, that takes us to the next fifth, the next step around the cycle of fifths circle. So this um, cycle of fifths diagram is done in harmonica keys, the 12 basic harmonica keys. So if I'm playing in second position uh, on a C harmonica, I move around the circle once, I'm playing in the key of G. If I play in third position on a C harmonica, I move around the circle twice, I'm playing in the key of D. So the lo the, um, that logic continues. If I was going to play in fourth position on a C harmonica, I go around to the next step, which puts me in the key of A. Fifth position puts me in the key of E. 
and we could go round 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th position puts me in the key of F on a C harmonica. Now, so theoretically, you can play in 12 different positions on a C harmonica. You will find if you try that, that certain notes are missing. You can get certain notes uh, that you might want by bending notes. Um, but a lot of harmonica players stick, particularly blues style harmonica players, stick to either first position, second position or third position. And then you come across uh, players that have played something, say, in either fourth or fifth position or in twelfth position. Twelfth uh, position is used because it's just one step away from C in this case, but in the other direction. So if you have a different harmonica, let's say you've got a harmonica in the key of A, so we just start from this point on the circle. Second position in the key of A puts us playing in E. Third position puts us in B. Fourth position puts us in F sharp. Fifth position puts us in D flat. All the way around, twelfth position on an A harp would put you in the key of D. So if you familiarise yourself with this diagram, it's very easy to work out harmonica positions. I hope that's been uh, useful to you. Um, do take a screenshot of the diagram. You will certainly find them uh, very easily on, a, on an internet search, just put in cycle of fifths, but you may not find the diagram showing the keys as they uh, are written for harmonica players, the 12 basic harmonica keys. So there we are. Um, the cycle of fifths and harmonica positions explained reasonably clearly, I hope. So until the next uh, video, this is Ricky Cool signing off. If you found it useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Cheerio for now.